So my other bad capacitor video, the video quality was horrible because the other camera. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do another one. This is a Asus. It's a P5P800. It's a Intel socket 775 board. Now this board, there was actually nothing wrong with it. I mean, no visible, well, the it wasn't doing anything weird. It ran perfect. Um, it was in a server that had been used for about five years, you know, running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We upgraded the server, um, and this is what we found. Can't tell real good, but if you look, the tops of those are just, if you see this one next to it, that blue one, see how it's completely flat? And the green ones, you can kind of see the uh, silver top. It should be completely flat, and then they're, they're bulged up just a little bit. And these two. So those are bad capacitors. Now these probably were working, and if I remember right, this server had, I think we replaced at least one power supply in it um, that had died during its lifetime. And probably when that power supply went out, it probably spiked voltage and bulged these capacitors. They're probably still working, you know, because the board wasn't doing anything weird, you know, it was completely stable. Um, but I'm going to use this board, so I'm going to go ahead and replace those capacitors. Now, this one, this is a, came from a Acer. It looks a lot like a, a gigabyte board, but I don't know that it is. If you look, this one is leaking. The top is bulged a little bit and it's leaking. Um, this one is bad. This one, I think it just completely exploded or something. The top is caved in on it. And if you look real close on this one, you can just see just a slight orange or brown or whatever you want to call it, speck on the top of both of those where they were starting to leak. And then, let's see, I guess that's all on these. If you look, the tops are just slight bulged out. They should be completely flat. And then this is an IBM board. These are all socket 775. And if you look, this one is or was hanging up at the IBM screen. Um, that capacitor you can just see a speck of brown on top. It's leaking. If you look at the one next to it. Compare the two. Let's see if we can get it to. It's slightly bulged. See the one on the left is slightly bulged up compared to the one on the right. So that capacitor is bad. And I could probably replace that capacitor and it would fix this board. And I forgot to say on this one, this one was blue screening. It would still power up, but when it was going into Windows, it would blue screen. Um, but this one's probably the worst of the three of these boards. I'll look and see if I have some more. Um, I chunked a bunch of the older boards that I had. And the older ones were the ones that were even worse about, you know, having bad capacitors. But this is actually a pretty good board. Um, it's an older board. It's still an AGP. 
in DDR, but I've got an old board there that I'm running um, that I would like to upgrade, so we'll uh, replace the capacitors in this one, and I'll use this board.